Welcome back to part 3 of this video. Now we can go ahead and assign these sections and material properties to the various parts. So I click on done here. Then under model, under part data. So you can go to assign. And then from the list, choose the different parts. So for example, if I want to select these two honeycomb parts, and then go to section ID so I can choose the solid honeycomb section and then click on done material ID so I can choose the modified honeycomb that I created for this one and then click on done similarly you choose the other part so I can choose these two interplates and then assign the solid but not honeycomb sections to them and then I can assign the interplate uh, in this case aluminum plastic material properties to them. As a next step we can assign boundary conditions to the model. So here I'm going to fix all degrees of freedom on the rigid wall so it acts like with, it has infinite stiffness and then on the back side of this body I'm going to constrain all degrees of freedom except the global X so it can move forward and back only. So to facilitate in that I can go to select parts and then just select those two parts alone then click done so in this view I can go to create entity and then under boundary I can do the specified constraints and then under that instead of show go to create and then set so change it to area so I can draw a box to select the node. So once the nodes are selected, you can choose what degrees of freedom to constrain for that particular set. So in, in my case, for, for these nodes, I've already created. So zero means X is not constrained and then the other five directions are constrained. Similarly, I can select this one and then choose all of them and then click apply. Similarly, I can create mass elements on the back side of this body as well. So under create entities, elements, I can choose mass and then I can enter a value here. So in this case, I'm going to select the area. So I'm going to select the same node. So it has around 1000 nodes and the total mass I want is around approximately 300 kilograms. So I'll go ahead and specify 0.3 in this case as the mass attached to each node. We still need to set the initial velocity of all of these parts and also define contact region between the various parts. So to facilitate in that, uh, we can create what's called node sets or part sets, which is just a group of nodes or parts. So I'm going to go to part selection. I'm going to exclude the rigid wall. So with the create entities, I'm going to create a part set, create a new one. So I can give a title. So in this case, right, so ID number one, I used all but the wall, or ID number two. And then you can choose the part. So in this case, I'm going to select all active parts and then click on apply. So and then repeat that for the all but the shell outer shell so when the this impacts the rigid wall the honeycomb on the inside are going to impact against the inner walls of the shell so for that we need to create a, a contact region so that's what this part set is for okay create done so once that's done so similarly choose this and then uncheck the outer shell done so now i can create the second one so all but shell again so picking by parts I can pick, pick all active parts and then click on apply so that's how I created these sets and uh, the nodal set is for creating the edge to face contact between the uh, attenuator and the base plate so I go to select parts outer shell only I don't need anything else create a node set again give it a name 
then in this case I've given the name shell underscore edge and then I can do area and then just draw a box like this to pick all of these edges which are going to be welded or attached to the uh, base plate and then click on apply so that's how I created this one so these two node sets were automatically created when I applied the uh, boundary conditions for the parts okay now we are ready to apply the initial velocity so I go to keyboard manager all and then under there choose initial conditions then choose the velocity generation so here if I set the S type equal to 1 it means I can choose a part set ID which is group of parts so I can come here click on this and then choose all but wall and then click on done and then apply the velocity in the X direction of 7 meters per second or in this case 7 millimeter per millisecond since we are using that consistent unit system and then click on done so now we have defined the initial conditions as well. This concludes part 3 of this video. In part 4 we will define the contact regions and run the model.